What, what's the proudest moment of your directing career? Well, I, I don't know what my proudest moment is. I know the films that I am proud of. And I think equally, there's no, I think the, this may, the film I made in Australia, Wake and Fright, um, The Apprenticeship of Diddy Kravitz with Richard Dreyfuss, uh, with Nick Nolte, uh, North Dallas 40, um, Wake and uh, uh, First Blood with Sylvester Stallone. And those are the films I think. Uh, and also in terms of comedy, Weekend at Bernie's. People always ask you, how come, you, you, you do all the genres, don't you? I said, I do films that I love and I'm interested in. Um, I've, I think that the, uh, you have to, a film takes a long time to come to, for, a, to fruition and you, the, the preparation and then the shooting and then the editing, it's a long run out process. And I think that you have to really be passionate about what you're doing that you really love. I've never done a film that I didn't love and didn't, didn't want to make. So I'm proud of them all. These are just ones that, are, that stick out a little bit, but I, I'm proud of every film I make because I cared about it. Some less, I, I made them more successful than others. Um, some of them were my lack, sometimes my lack of ability to, to realize them as fully as I'd wish to. But I think you've got to care so passionately about making a film because it takes such a long time. And there's all sorts of challenges. There's time. Uh, get, off, get off the set tonight, darling. Ted, Ted, finish, finish the scene. I'll do my best. You know what I mean? So you have to create something and sometimes you have to adjust your vision of it in order to get off the set. You understand, films have to be made for a certain amount of money. You can't be uh, capricious, but I don't care. So I'm going to we can come back tomorrow. Um, some directors are capable of it. I've never been capable of that. I feel that, you know, if you commit yourself you're given this amount of time to make this object, um, you should stick with it. But, um, and I think that there's so many, and I think so many distractions, people are just, when you're shooting a film, so many people try to distract you from your vision of it. And just talk about, no, oh, no, 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 I have this vision, I do it like this, you know. And sometimes people, producers try to um, change your mind about things. And I listen. Not that, I, not that I'm impervious. Sometimes great ideas come. I've had, I've had uh, a, a stagehand come up and tell me, great. "Oh, that's very good. Thanks very much. I'm going to get the credit for that. He ain't going to get the credit." <laughs> but on the whole, um, good producers. Robert Lantos. I worked. With him. I did. Uh, I did. Uh, Joshua done an hour with him. And he was a great producer. In as much as he, he would make. He had intelligent suggestions. They were always intelligent. And they were never stupid, or, and they never indulged in pissing contests. Some producers want to indulge in pissing contests with you. Uh, and he never did that, and he made a suggestion. If I made the slightest move, no, uh, oh, oh, Ted, it's just, just an idea. If you don't like it, don't do it. But he always had something provocative about these suggestions. Then the good producers do that. Some producers, as I say, can act destructively too. And you, so you need, you need your deep commitment. If you're doing it just for the money, you have no moral basis for what you're, what you're doing. Because you're doing it for the money, well, can we do this? It's more, it'll be more attractive to the audience if he did. Yeah, sure, if you're doing it for the money. But I just I don't know because I, I do it because I want to do it. And, not, and I want to keep the artistic integrity.